Hello, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Kerbal.com and today I'm going to show you a dashboard that I find very very useful. Um, it monitors the growth of, uh, of a website. Let's go right at it and I'll show you how, how it looks. So it's uh, a lot of numbers, um, might be a little bit overwhelming, uh, but once you know what they mean, it becomes very, very useful. Um, let's start here. It, here it says when was the last time it was refreshed, which it was uh, early today. Here you can see sessions this year, number of sessions on the website this year. And here you can see the number of sessions on the website the previous year. And here you can see is year over year, I mean the percentage growth from this year comparing to the same period last year. So here you see year, monthly, weekly, yesterday and this is today. So we start from, from the year and then we will go down to see what is actually measuring. Uh, I wouldn't say before we start that um, I will not show all the formulas and all that stuff because it's already in a blog post. And also if you are a member of our site, you can download these files so you don't have to create all the measures, which is a, it's a lot actually. Uh, the links are down below in the video, so just go ahead if you want to download the site. But before you do, uh, make sure that you understand how it's built and what you will actually get. So let's jump right at it. Um, we start from year to yesterday, same period last year. Um, I want to say that I'm choosing yesterday because if I choose the, day, the last day as today, then the number will change continuously, which will make it very difficult to track. So that's why I chose year to yesterday. And I have sessions instead of users because I don't find users to be very reliable, especially not in the way that most sites are configured. So I think that sessions is more trustworthy metric. You can of course change back to users if that's, I mean, if you know that it is properly configured. Or you have, for example, a lot of users that are logging in your site, but th that is another discussion for another day. So let's do that. The, we are going to take year to yesterday, same period last year. What is that? We would go to Google Analytics and then year to yesterday, it will be from the 1st of January to today's Thursday, Wednesday. And then we are comparing it previous period last year. So we have to go all the way to January and then we take from the 1st to the 27th. This is counting the number of days. So the months, well, it, it doesn't matter because it's comparing, it is comparing the same number of days. I think that that was what was important for me when I built it. So we click apply. And here we see 15,378. 15,298 and there you go. Perfect. So I have a 1% growth this year. Here we're tracking month to yesterday and the same period last month. So the same amount of days last month. So of course, because we are in January, these two are the same. That's correct. And then let's check that out. Go back to Google Analytics. And now we're tracking for this month. So this is correctly. This is the first until yesterday that it was Wednesday. And then we take the previous month to 27th. Remember it's counting exactly the same number of days. So December had more days. So you have to take that into account. Of course, you can count the whole entire month also. But this dashboard is not built that way. So here we have 15,378, 12, 
15,300 to 12,75. Perfect. And I have 21% growth this month, which is quite cool. Okay, so we go to week to yesterday. And same period last week. Let's see what that is doing. So week to yesterday, this is an American calendar. So I have to take from Monday, not Sunday, to yesterday, Wednesday. And compare it to Monday last week, Wednesday last week. Again, the same number of days. That was important. So we are measuring the same thing. And then you have 1,851, 1,885. And there you go. Perfect. And here I'm a little bit behind this week. Now, yesterday, same week, same weekday last week. Let's see what that is. So we go here. Yesterday was Wednesday. And same weekday, that means same Wednesday last week. There you go. So 565, 599. 565, 599. Perfect. And I have 5% loss for yesterday. You might probably wonder why I'm choosing Wednesday this week against Wednesday last week. We could have said Wednesday this week, I mean yesterday and then the day before yesterday. But what I've seen and on the websites I've managed is that most business have the same um, traffic at the same weekday. So for example, you are very strong on Thursdays or Fridays, depending on what you have. Most of the websites go down in visitors through the weekend. So for example, if we were to compare a Saturday with a Friday, you will see a, a huge drop and it would not be that interesting because you know that all Saturdays traffic goes down. I can show you if we take, for example, let's get a little bit of perspective. So we see it, we take that compared to nothing. Here you will see the drops. All these drops are weakened. And then we have the heights here in this side. It's like Mondays, Tuesdays. Yeah, Monday. So I, I like to measure the same weekday the week before or the period before. Okay, finally we have today and the same weekday last week. Um, if we go to Google Analytics, get today, and the same weekday that is on Thursday last week, and apply, and then we get 489,594, 594 on well, this site, it's, uh, I don't know, I did this like three hours ago, so it doesn't match now, but the only thing you need to do is just click the refresh button. It takes a while, so I won't do it here. But uh, this is it. If you want to download the file, you can do it at our website. You have to be a member, but it's absolutely free. Otherwise, if you want to build it yourself, there is a link uh, down below that it will show you the, the steps on how to build the formulas and how the formulas work and all that kind of interesting stuff. So that's all for now. I um, hope you enjoy this dashboard as much as I do. Uh, there will be more dashboard to come, so stay tuned. Bye bye.